It is as Russ. Hey, did you guys miss me on Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of busy. I had uh, my birthday on Sunday, and so um, I met with a friend on Monday afterwards, and then I had another friend that I met with on Tuesday. So, yeah, too many things going on. I didn't get a chance to do it. So here we are for Thursday's video. <laughs> So uh, let me uh, let me talk about a couple things that are on my mind, and then uh, hopefully we clarify some stuff. Now I've had a number of people ask me, "Why don't you review this bike? Why don't you review that bike? Why don't you review this bike?" And let me let me tell you how this thing works, <laughs> okay? Um, if I contact a company asking for a bike, I can t pretty much tell you I'm not going to get a response at all. All right. Yeah, they're not going to pay attention to me. They don't know who I am, okay? Now, if you contacted a, the company and said, hey, I'm interested in you checking out um, uh, Russ is Right and send him a bike to do a review because we like using him as a reviewer, that might mean a lot more to those companies than if I asked them for the bike, right? So if there's something that you really like me to check out, send the company a, uh, an email and tell them about the channel, now, if they have a person who's in charge of uh, uh, influencers, <laughs> you know how I feel about that name, um, then uh, yeah, they might check out the Russ's Right channel and decide whether it's for them or it's not, okay? And then maybe they might decide to, to send me a bike to check out. Now, you know too that I've been fairly picky on the kind of bikes that I will accept for review and certain bikes I just totally ignore, right? If it's a company that I've never heard of before and, uh, and they're relatively inexpensive bikes. They all kind of look exactly the same. They're moped style bikes or something to that effect. Yeah, probably not going to even respond to that company. I, on a daily basis, I usually get a, some type of uh, um, a request for me to make a video for some company. And I turn most of them, them down. Yeah, a lot of times I don't even answer those emails to tell you the truth. <laughs> I just let it go because I know that they, they don't even know what the Russ's Right channel is. Based on you know the way they write the emails, you can pretty much tell they've never even seen a single Russ's Right uh, video before. Some of them send me uh, want to send me products that have absolutely nothing to do with e-bikes. They don't even know we're an e-bike channel. <laughs> and they still ask you to make a video for them. So I, uh, yeah, I don't really respond to those type of companies. So anyway, um, so what, what kind of bikes am I interested in reviewing? Well, it, I, I want to find something that's unique, something that's a little different from what bikes we've already had. Now, you know that I've been working with companies like Magicycle. I've been working with, uh, um, you know, uh, Hemiway. I've been working with uh, Van Powers. I've been working with, uh, who else do we have? <laughs> Let me look around. What do we got around here? Uh, Area 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there are there are other other companies we've worked with. So if, if you see bikes that are exactly the same, you know, I probably wouldn't be that interested in it. Uh if it's something unique, you know, like we've never had a mid-drive bike before. Okay. Okay. You companies I've been working with before, make a mid mid-drive bike and send me one. <laughs> I'll try that out. That would be interesting, right? Let's try something that's different, right? So people have asked me too about what about the trikes? Why don't, why don't you get a trike? Well, if, if they send it to me, I'll try it, but I probably will not use my own money and buy one because I don't really personally need one at this point. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, Rad Power Bikes had a trike, right? $2,500 roughly, but uh, Electric just came out with one for $1,500. So. Between the two, which of the two would I like to get a hold of? I think between the two, I'd like to try the electric. Yeah, I think it's going to be more popular, fifteen hundred dollars than twenty five hundred. Don't you think? So I would, I would be very interested in checking that bike out. But uh, you know, uh, will electric send me one? Probably not. <laughs> I've contacted electric before in the past. You know, people have asked me to contact them and try to get some some bikes. No, they don't even they don't even recognize me. Yeah, I never hear from them. I don't I don't even get a peep out of them. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in me checking it out, send them an email, okay? Send them one and say, hey, check out Russ is Right, okay? I think if enough people sent them an email and said, you guys are missing out, they might pay attention. On the other hand, you know, if I said, hey, check me out, they ain't going to pay attention to that. <laughs> so that's how it works, I think, a lot of times with these, with these bikes. Now, I think the only company that really paid attention was, I think... Um, it was KBO. Yeah, I asked I asked KBO for the KBO commuter bike. I said, this might be a bike that uh, my viewers would be interested in. So 
I contacted them and they immediately said, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> All right. So sometimes it does happen, but more often than not, if, if I were to contact a company, uh, yeah, they don't pay attention to you. <laughs> they don't care who you are. <laughs> So yeah, okay. So that's how that's how bike reviews happen for me. Okay, um, I still get companies who who contact me, but I I don't take certain types of bikes like like moped style bikes. I don't I don't take. I only took one. I took the me bike. Remember the me bike? Um, and I took that one because it looked like it was built really well, and it is. Okay, um, and I think the me bike actually has potential but the problem again was it's a moped style bike you cannot adjust the height of the seat so because of my height and my length of my legs and everything um i i can't ride it like a regular bike i can throttle it just well just perfectly okay but uh i i want a bike that i can pedal and throttle okay now in your mind i know you guys are thinking russ doesn't pedal <laughs> we don't see him pedal a whole lot I do pedal. You just don't see it. I usually just don't pedal as much when I'm talking on a video. But when I turn the cameras off, I'm usually pedaling as much as I can. And then when I tire out, then I throttle. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. So the me bike was something that I thought was a good, good thing to try out to see if that style of bike would be suitable for me or for my viewers. And I came to the determination that unless it has an adjustable seat, I can't take any more of those type of bikes in. It's not fair to the manufacturers um, to keep taking those type of bikes that I can't even ride, <laughs> all right? So, um, you know, people said, well, then you get a free bike. You can just sell it and make money on it. I'm not at that interested in that, to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm interested in getting a bike that, um, that has some potential for people to use and that is, uh, you know, uh, strong enough to, 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 to to stay uh, something that is not going to fall apart, and then it has batteries that are safe enough for people to use. Okay, so those are the things I look for. I mean, even if the bike was made well, but they use cheap uh, lithium-ion cells that nobody can trust, I probably won't take that bike in. <laughs> All right, I prefer to get bikes that have you know at least trusted batteries. You know, you know if it has Samsung cells. Uh, LG cells or Panasonic cells or some, something of some name, some Sony cells, something, um, then I, I have a little more trust in it, right? I don't want to put my name to something that I don't even know if it's going to blow up in your house or whatever. <laughs> I don't want that, right? So um, yeah, that's, that's what I look for, okay? Now, another thing too, accessories. Let's talk about accessories. Will I review certain accessories? Well, I just got contacted by another uh, one of the companies that I had worked with before. That's Lamacall. And they have a new uh, cell phone holder. I'm going to do a video for them. Um, and, uh, you know, I look at this and I go, you know, to do a video for an accessory company, I mean, th this is a product that costs probably, well, I don't know, what, 20 bucks or under, some, something in that range. You know, uh, you spend just as much effort to do that as you do a bike video. But I, I, I look at that as, okay, that's worthwhile doing because, you know, my viewers are going to need cell phone holders. And uh, if they have something that's worth uh, considering, I will do it, okay? So I'm not all about, you know, send me the multi-thousand dollars uh, of products to review. If, it, if it's a good product that's worth talking about, I will take that in and do it. So keep an eye open for the new Lamacall one that's coming out. Here, here's why I like that one, and you'll see it on the video when I, when I release that video. Um, you know, a lot of the handlebars that we have are kind of tapered. It's kind of thick in the middle, right where the stem is, and then it tapers down, right? Well, a lot of these cell phone holders don't don't match up very well with a tapered uh, handlebar, right? Or if, if they if they do lock in place, then the cell phone holder is kind of cockeyed. <laughs> it's not it's not straight. This one you can straighten out, and it locks pretty good on a tapered uh, handlebar. <laughs> so that makes it unique, right? So that's why I wanted uh, wanted to, to to do that. So I sent. Uh, sent back a thing to them and said, yeah, I'll do that video. Um, can you send me a couple? So they sent me two of them because, you know, I have I have extra bikes and, and I prefer to just leave the cell phone mounts on the bike. I don't want to keep, you know, jumping back and forth and moving things. Um, so they sent me two of them and then I'll be doing the, the review of one of them. And, and now I have it on two different bikes. <laughs> OK, so those are the things I look for. And other companies, OK, for instance, Magicycle. Um, They've, they've always told me that if I need anything, you know, even the accessories, just let them know and they will send it to me, okay? Now, I could just say, hey, send me this, send me that, send me this, send me this. 
and I bet you anything they would send it to me. But I don't I don't feel comfortable just asking for everything in the world. I mean, I ask them for a lot of stuff. If, if you take a look at any of the Magic Cycle bikes, it's usually outfitted with mirrors on every one of those bikes. And, and uh, there's baskets and rear racks and everything on all my bikes. Yeah, those are extra things they send to me. They don't have to. All they have to do is send me a bike and say, that's all we're sending you, right? But they send me whatever I ask for. So I asked them recently, I says, can you send me another rear bag? Because I've been moving the bag back and forth from bike to bike and I'm wearing out the Velcro. <laughs> I said, send me another bag so that I could at least uh, leave it on, you know, bikes that I ride the most. And then all I have to do is just transfer the tools back and forth and not have to take the, the bag off. So yeah, they're going to send me another one of those. You know, and then I ask them for extra batteries. I ask, I ask for a lot of stuff from them. They always just send it to me. I, you know, all of my Magicycle bikes have Magicycle mirrors on them. And so if you if you see the Magicycle bike and you say, hey, what's that mirror? Because I get a lot of people asking me what that is. That's a Magicycle mirror on the Magicycle bikes. Okay. So if you've ever seen the Magicycle back bikes in the background and it's, there's mirrors, it's kind of uh, kind of tall and it's kind of thin. Those are the Magicycle mirrors. Now. Are those the mirrors I prefer? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I actually like this half knee mirror that kind of looks like a like a tear shape mirror. Now I don't get free half knee mirrors. I gotta buy those. Okay, so uh, so you'll see that the half knee mirror, uh, the tear shape version, like not the one on my Rad Rover. That was uh, another style which actually looks nicer, but it actually doesn't function as well. They have a tear shaped one. It kind of looks kind of weird, in my opinion. I really didn't like them at first. <laughs> so they kind of look weird. But I learned to find out that it's it actually is done that way so you can see more. So what I can see is I can see behind, you know, from the side of the thing. I can see behind, but I can see the ground as well. And I can see above. So I can see above on the sky. I can see down on the ground. And I can see the cars coming. So I actually have more vision with the tear shaped version of the Hafni mirror. Now the magic cycles are nice because they're free, right? And so I don't I don't give up uh, stuff that's free, so I stick it on my magic cycle bikes. But um, they're a little narrow. Yeah, I think if they had a little more of a uh, a shape that was kind of like the half knee, where it's kind of like a tear shape, where you can see more of the ground as well. The reason the ground is important is because if a car comes closer to you, uh, you notice that because you see the ground more. Okay. So I uh, I prefer that, but I still put the Magic Cycle mirrors on the Magic Cycle bikes because they're good mirrors. But uh, between the two, I would I would probably use the Hafni mirror. <laughs> okay. Now here's the here's another thing that's a good point with the Magic Cycle mirrors too, is uh, they give you two for the price. All right. So now the Hafni you can buy individual left or right or both. Uh, if you buy them both, it costs more than the Magic Cycle mirror that comes with both. Okay, so the Magic Cycle in general is less expensive, but they do give you the left and the right. If you only wanted the left, they don't just sell the left. Okay, so you have to pay, I don't know, what is it, something like $39 or something like that, and you get two mirrors, left and right. And some people can't use the right mirror because they got too much stuff on the handlebar on the right hand side. You got the throttle and they got bells and all sorts of stuff. Um, so a lot of times you see, even on my own bikes, uh, with the magic cycles, I may only have the left hand mirror mounted, so I have extra right hand mirrors that just sit around. I don't, I don't use them. Um, so anyway, <laughs> it's just something to think about for, for those type of accessories. So that's about all I really wanted to talk about today. How how this whole thing works with the with the uh, the review samples and stuff, and and some of the other things like the accessories and things. So, anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. You can hit the notification button too, the little bell icon if you like, if you want to find out when the videos come out. But as you know, during the winter months, we're doing essentially Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I try to release these videos about 6 a.m. Pacific, uh, not Pacific. Eastern Standard Time, okay, so that everybody gets a chance to see it when they get up in the morning. And if you don't see something come out, um, you know, sometimes another video might come out later in the day, but it's only happened once or twice. And um, but usually they will come out at, at 6 a.m. in the morning because I usually do it the, at least by the day before and then I upload it and then it automatically gets released at 6 a.m. OK, so if you don't see something at 6 a.m., it doesn't mean it's not coming. It just means chances are it might not be coming. <laughs> All right. And uh, you might have to wait until the next rotation. And then as the uh, the writing season happens, 
we'll try again then to try to do at least um, a video a day. And usually I do uh, Monday through Saturdays on those. And those are mostly writing type videos, not just like me with this talking head where I'm talking to you. But at least you get to see some of my old rides behind me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys next time.